This is Our Seychelles, an archipelago of over 115 unique islands, about 1,600 miles east of the African coast, surrounded by the warm and inviting Indian Ocean. To around 95,000 Seychelles, this is home. We share these beaches, mountains, forests and reefs with a rich abundance of plant and animal life, some of which are found nowhere else on Earth. We are part of a complex ecosystem, one that doesn't only provide for us, but also the over 300,000 tourists who choose to visit us every year, traveling halfway around the world just to experience our rare natural heritage. But this beauty is fragile. Climate change, coastal erosion, overfishing and pollution are threatening this way of life, above and below the water. Without proper action, this island paradise, along with the tourism industry it relies upon, could be changed forever. Can auditing save this paradise? Seychelles is a country where you clearly can see that interdependency between the environment, the social development and the economic development. Everything Seychelles uses is from the sea. We depend on the ocean for our food to feed our family. The government is working to address these issues, changing environmental policies and aligning with the global partners to perform ongoing audits on the coastal and marine management. However, many Seychelles will realize that more needs to be done. This is why the Office of the Auditor General of the Seychelles decided to undertake an audit on coastal management and marine areas. The objective, assessing whether government is doing enough to ensure sustainability for this fragile and pristine environment. Coastal areas and marine resources are vital to Seychelles economy. Our bread and butter depends on, on these resources. The Coastal and Marine Management Audit is a pan-African initiative. Together with the Seychelles, five other audit institutions in Africa decided to take part in this project. The focus was on understanding if government are effectively implementing measures to address major threats such as overfishing, pollution or climate change. This project was coordinated by the African Organization of English-Speaking Supreme Audit Institutions, AfroSAE with the assistance of German International Cooperation, GIZ. Supreme Audit Institutions are crucial accountability actors in every country. They are responsible for scrutinizing the use of public money and the implementation of government policies. Currently, our coastal and marine areas face many, many challenges. So it's really important for our government to have very comprehensive programs in place to manage the coastal and environmental areas. The result of the audit will help Seychelles to monitor its progress in meeting the coastal management goals set out by the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and in doing so, build a more sustainable future for Seychelles. A lot of good work has already been done in the Seychelles, but there's still much more to do. One of the most important actions that the Auditor General recommends is the creation of an integrated coastal zone management plan and the implementation of the plan with proper structures to monitor its performance. Such a plan will ensure a healthy balance between the need for economic development and the protection of the environment. Seychelles has not yet completed and put in place an integrated coastal zone management plan. This is vital for, for better management of uh, uh, coastal areas as well as uh, marine resources. The ICZM will be the, the Bible book of the implementation of all activities, projects on the coastal lines of Seychelles. It will define how we'll move ahead in terms of managing our seas, ocean and coastal areas. I know that government is working hard on it to have one. The biggest threat facing the archipelago and its people is climate change. We are vulnerable to different impacts, and especially now with climate change. 
when the environment gets affected, definitely people that live in this environment will get affected as well. You only need to look at the South Coast Road of Mahe to see the effects of rising sea levels. With the prediction of sea level rise, like many small island states, Seychelles is, is at risk. Of course, this will have a great impact on the economic activities of the uh, communities. By the year 2100, the water levels are predicted to rise by another 60 centimeters, putting many buildings, roads and beaches at risk. Global warming is sea level rise, and a lot of these coastal areas will just be underwater. Nowadays, when we have a very high tide, uh, the seawater flows very far inland, and it affects certain areas inland, such as the farmlands. So the salinity increase in the soil, and uh, then these farmers cannot produce as they, they, they had been before. Just under the water, the effects of global warming are also plain to see, with widespread coral bleaching caused by a gradual increase in water temperature. When you have coral bleaching and your reef is almost dead, all these uh, beautiful uh, scenery you won't see. So this really affects Seychelles in, in an economic way where tourism is concerned. The Auditor General recognizes that the government has taken proactive steps to address climate change by developing appropriate strategies. It now urges the government to take steps to ensure their implementation. The best way to combat the climate change is through education, which is the main pillar to build a sustainable society. It is only by understanding how our actions affect the environment that we can learn to live in harmony with the world around us. The youth is the key in continuing what we've started. Education and awareness is one of the key areas for the ministry. We have the public education and community outreach section Peko, starting from school kids to grown-ups. Then, then we have also some community-based organizations where they've also have helped us and they are still continue to, to be on board with us, uh, with our programs. These CBOs reaches the grassroots of the community. We need everybody on board to have this synergy, to have this synchronization of all our activities, programs, and so on, so that people are aware and we put our efforts together. Despite these efforts, the audit highlighted the Ministry of Environment's poor record keeping. As such, these climate change awareness programs could not be confirmed. An important part in building a more sustainable society is the change to renewable energy sources, like the Port Victoria Wind Farm. The wind farm is a six megawatt wind farm. We have eight turbines. It currently contributes around 1.5 to 2% of our annual energy production. Seychelles plans to reach 5% of renewable energy by 2020 and 15% by 2030. However, these targets appear to be difficult to achieve unless extra efforts are made. The Auditor General noted that currently, only 2.5% of the energy stems from renewable resources. The whole development of renewable energy poses some challenges. Another important thing that we need to focus on is energy efficiency. We need to reduce our demand for our energy. So at the Commission at the moment, we are really focused on implementing one project, which is the resource efficiency project. We need to target everyone, not only the politicians as leaders, the decision makers, but also public in general. There's no doubt about it, we need to go green. Coastal pollution is an ongoing challenge for Seychelles. On the Andabra Atoll, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, marine debris threatens the health of wildlife. During their field visits on Mahe, Prale and Ladig, the auditors witnessed that illegal dumping, littering and wastewater discharge are polluting the waters of the island, especially around the port areas. We control the waste from, the, from, from each vessel that comes from the harbor. We're in charge of all the, all the pollution in the harbor. So I'm looking for the captain. I want to ask him to clean the wharf because after they finish loading the salt, they need to clean the wharf, make it clean, remove all the salt in the wharf. Fixing this means changing our behavior, reporting pollution, 
making sure that the authorities test the waters regularly, especially around our ports, and being tougher on polluters. Many Sechilwa are already doing their part to reduce litter on the islands, choosing to use less plastic, recycling, and participating in monthly beach cleanups. My responsible redeem center, La Dig. Mon quoi, ça y est, il y a ban l'idée très fondamentale. Léo pour Mazine, si tout ça ban bouteille, tu parles dans dans la mer, côte N, nous pas tu peux gagner rien. Et D, nous tu peux salir nous l'environnement. I think that waste is not only a problem for my country. I think it's a global issue. In my attempts to try to reduce this problem, I collect water bottles and um, I store them and I intend to recycle them later. Sicilian people are very mindful about their environment and their limited resources. We have a number of programs and projects which are aiming to educate the population on reduce, reuse and recycling the available resources. Small, small changes that we make, even though it's actually small, it is really significant. And it can only happen if we do it together. If I do it, it is going to make the impact. But if we all do it together, it's going to make a, a much larger, larger impact and we can make the world a better place. The audit pointed out that in the Anskela coastal area, as in many others, you can see another environmental challenge. Over half of the beaches on Mahe, Prale and Nadig are disappearing into the sea. Some of this is caused by changing weather patterns, but most of this erosion is from human activity, like land reclamation. Coastal erosion has been quite an issue in Seychelles, like in many island states. This really will cause a big problem for, for this country in future. It definitely, it's not good news. This is being solved through reactive methods, like the rock dumping at Beauvalon Beach. When we implement such measures is that the impact has gone beyond control of soft measures, of natural soft measures. So this is where we come in with these hard engineering structures. But it's important that it's also addressed proactively through gentle techniques like beach nourishment, which was used in La Paz on La Digue Island. However, such projects should abide to procurement laws whilst ensuring proper project management practices are observed. The warm waters around Seychelles are filled with sea life, which is vital to us. But over the last decade, there have been fewer and fewer fish for our local fishermen to catch. And so, protecting these waters from pollution, overfishing and poaching is vitally important we found through our special review that there is overfishing, there is illegal fishing, and also there is a lack of action plan with regard to monitoring of our marine resources. The Marine and Coastal Audit, in fact, has uh, helped us to identify some of the weaknesses. We were busy in our corner doing our own things, not realizing that there are certain things that maybe we were doing that uh, was not right. But through this uh, audit, we've managed to highlight all these issues and there are some recommendations that we are going to, to implement. There has been a very, very, very big change uh, in the fishing industry. 20 years ago, when we, I started this business, we went about 30 kilometers, and uh, you spend only two days, you come in full, and nowadays you have to go further out, and uh, sometimes when you come, you get half of the boat. There is also the issue of monitoring and control. We need capacity to, to do that. If uh, you have a minimum size, you need to have officers on site to, to look at the, the, the size of the fish uh, being landed. Lieutenant Wong Poole from the Seychelles Coast Guard works hard patrolling these waters. But the low persecution rate often means that culprits escape punishment. Resources are, are always a problem, you can see, because you never have enough resources to do what you want to do. So we do operations from search and rescue to environmental pollution and that goes up to illegal fishing, interdiction, uh, anti-narcotics. 
So all of this rests on the shoulder of the Coast Guard. The audit highlights that monitoring fish stocks is crucial to preserve marine resources. By maintaining up-to-date records, threatened species can be protected through quotas. But to work, these quotas need to be enforced and adhered to, such as the monitoring of lobster fishing, which is challenging. In regards to industrial, yellowfin tuna is overexploited. It should be regulated maybe three months. In a year, you don't, you don't catch that fish, you know? Something should be done, because in 15 years, the species will be gone. So we are at uh, the stage whereby we are transiting from uh, open access uh, regime of management to a right-based one. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, dif difficult for us to, to educate the fishermen as to why we are moving, making this transition. So we have to do this transition quite smoothly. The Coastal Management Audit has helped identify environmental, government and policy issues in protecting and preserving Seychelles' vast ecosystem. Supreme audit institutions are not only confined to auditing the money or to see whether there has been corruption or misspending, they are also very important in ensuring that the government policies are effectively implemented. An environment is one of the most crucial um, areas for us as humans um, to not neglect that because if our children can't live on the, this earth, then where, where would they be? I think it uh, has really open up a little bit our eyes in terms of what we are doing and where we can improve. We need to fast track our process in terms of reviewing regulations and laws of the country. Our future of our children will depend on how well we protect our environment and how well we manage our resources such as marine resources and coastal areas. What I can say to the youth of Seychelles is that they have the opportunity to change uh, the way that we are doing things. We have one world, once you destroy it, there's no going back. The Seychelles is one of the jewels of the Indian Ocean, celebrated all over the world for its welcoming people and its rich biodiversity. But our islands are under threat. We have our part to play in preserving our natural heritage and way of life. Government, non-government organizations, industries, citizens and the many tourists who visit each year. By working hard and working together, we can all make a difference. For tomorrow and the many tomorrows still to come. It's time to join together all Seychellois for us and for future generations.